I first came across Eric Alexander when one of my students, Alan, his dad Tom is a big jazz fan and he used to arrive, drop Alan off for his lesson when we were living in Northern Ireland and hand me a pile of CDs to listen to. Tom's one of those rare breed of people in that he's really into jazz but doesn't play anything and th those people are getting increasingly rare and had a uh, Tom has an amazing CD collection. This is the days before Spotify and Apple Music. And so he used to regularly bring me some uh, Eric Alexander CDs. These are just a few that he sort of ended up giving to me. Um, and that's how I first, you know, came aware of Eric and a lot of other players that I hadn't really heard of before. Because if you live in England, it's very, very difficult to sort of get to hear about some of these slightly more under the radar uh, American saxophone players. And one Christmas, Alan bought me this one as a Christmas present, which is a little different. Um, is it sexist? I don't know. Is it enticing? It certainly uh, underlines the sex sells uh, kind of idea. It's actually a very, very good album. Um, Joe Farnsworth, Mightley Don, John Weber, um, some really nice ballads on there. Um, I think it was a Japanese import originally, simply because of the amount of Japanese writing. You'll see that what I have tended to do over the years is get the CDs, stick them onto iTunes and then stick them in the store. I'm not someone who wants to get rid of all my CDs yet, I know some people do. There is the issue of course with iTunes, you don't own your music, you only rent it, uh, you know, in terms of lifetime rental if you buy it, and with uh, Spotify of course you never actually physically get hold of it. So having found Eric's music, liked it, enjoyed it, got more of my own albums, got bought albums for Christmas, um, I was able to check out Eric live and also study with him, which was a real privilege. Now, obviously I'm not gonna share all of it because you know, there's kind of lessons in there and stuff like that, but Eric actually has some really, really good eBooks, which I've linked to below, which you can check out. Um, the, they are quite advanced. So um, maybe if you're just starting out and playing, maybe they're not quite right for you yet, but there's some really good concepts. One of the things he showed me, which I keep in my own practice schedule. Two things, the uh, what is known on Cambridge saxophone is the Eric Alexander nose breath, that's. <laughs> the goal being to keep your mouth on the mouthpiece for as long as you possibly can. Now, as you get higher up and as you go longer, obviously you can't breathe as quickly through your nose as you can through your mouth, so don't normally time this exercise. But it's a really, really good idea uh, to just get time on the mouthpiece. The other one was this one, which again, if you're a regular vlog watcher, you'll have heard me play a lot. <laughs> nice little dominant seventh exercise. You're basically just going up the notes of the dominant chord. Hang on a minute. Down the dominant seventh scale, or oh, dominant bebop. great one for just getting around. What I love about Eric's playing is it's so clean and if you transcribe some of his stuff you start to see kind of how much sense it makes, how much harmonic sense it makes. He does play quite a bit, quite a few kind of licks but he's very heavily influenced by George Coleman who's not a great player I haven't heard of um, you know in my early years but I, I'm more and more of as, as I have got to listen to him I really enjoy his playing. There's a lot of musicality in his playing as he goes along. So yeah, Eric Alexander, that is an album called Gentle Ballads. Um, I hope the ever-increasing female audience do not feel slightly put off by that. I am not making any judgment, aside from the fact that, you know, you open that or you see that on a CD shelf as a bloke and suddenly it catches your eye. I'm sure there are female equivalents of it. Maybe not with men wearing that. That really wouldn't have put anybody into. Um, don't worry, I'm not doing it on an album cover. So I need to do a little bit of practice and then I need to head out into Cambridge. But that was, yeah, check out Eric Alexander's music. Fantastic player. Um, very prolific CD player. Oh, I found another one that uh, I got hold of. This one has a title track 
called Brad Meldu's monogrammed guest towels. Don't know where that idea comes from. Maybe if these guys are watching it. Pete Lips, Biff Smith, Brian Stock, Patrick Traganza, Paul Tarantino. Um, witty title, sexy front cover. Yeah, kind of what do you think for that? <laughs> today is the day I don't want to practice. Um, I don't feel particularly inspired to. Um, I'm tired, but I'm going to crack on with this lovely piece by C.P.E. Bach. <laughs> So I thought I'd bring the CD in the car. Sadly, the phone holder is not great. So I don't think I'll be able to drive for much with that on. By the way, that, no naked, half naked lady on the thing. That is one fantastic album. Uh, Eric Clapton with Winton in the Lincoln Centre. Hey, this is Eric Alexander, Gentle Ballads. I've owned a lion's top now for each of the tours since 2005, so I thought I had to really come out and get one. But I've also got myself a nice tower fan, but this time of the afternoon on a Friday, I think it's time for only one thing. Grande latte. Now the weather's cooled down, I've decided to buy a fan. <laughs> no. Sighted in the studio. I don't know if that's a great idea there. I'll find out as things go on. Anyway, tonight I back at I'm back at Saffron Hall, uh, presenting the evening. I have a fantastic young drummer player called Henry Spencer coming down. Uh, very highly recommended guy. Looking forward to the gig. Less than an hour till I have to go out, so I need to go and I'm. Trying to decide if this may go back to how it used to be. We'll see. Have to wear glasses for this. Can't cock up my beard. So, summer beard is back. Hope you like it. Hope we get on. Just got to the gig now, so I better get myself set up and in there. So the, I'm just about to kick the gig off, so thank you very much for watching today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you got something useful from the Eric Alexander CD collection. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make such a difference to the videos that I can produce and the quality for which I can pass on to you guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you very, very, very soon.